Every day, watch your mind. Every day, every day, keep those old evil thoughts out. And remember, they don't have to be thoughts of murder. They can just be selfish thoughts. Keep them out. Keep them out. And be renewed in, this, in, the, in the spirit of your mind. Amen? Amen. Now, the Bible says in Romans 12, chapter, verse 2, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. We need to renew our minds every morning, every day. Renew your mind. Say, praise God, Lord. I want you to help me to bring every thought into captivity unto the obedience of Christ. Every thought into captivity. You see what he's saying? He's saying that your mind is really not yours to think like you want to think. It belongs to Him. When you gave your life to Jesus, you gave Him your mind. Your mind belongs to Him. What do you mean by thinking evil, evil, evil thoughts that belong to Him? And so He said, do not be conformed to the world but transformed by the renewing of your mind and bring into captivity every thought. Captivity means that we are prisoners of the Lord. I'm His prisoner. I've got to bring my mind into captivity to Him. That means my mind must not go out here in the world, you know, in every way. But it must be brought into captivity. I must bring it back to captivity. I cannot be released to go out all over the world. I don't have the freedom to think like I want to think and about everything I want to think about. Because then I open the door to the enemy. And he puts in the wrong thoughts. Bring in the thought into captivity. Say, Lord, I'm your prisoner. I'm going to think with the thoughts you give me. And bring every thought into obedience to Christ. Try to do it every day. Keep on trying and keep on doing and keep on trusting. Keep on trusting. He will keep, Isaiah 26, He will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on me. You say, well, I can't just think about Jesus all the time. Of course not, I know that. But you can think about good things all the time. Did you know that? You're capable of thinking about good things. Whatsoever things are, this is in Philippians, the fourth chapter, and then I'm through. Whatsoever things are honest and pure and true and good and lovely, think on these things. See? So you don't have to think about a scripture every time or even about Jesus constantly. You've got your job to do. You've got your work to do. But you can think about things that are good and wholesome and right and a good report and love me. And when you do that, your life will become like that. It will become pure and honest and good and love me. Because you see, you're thinking right. Praise the Lord. God willing, next Sunday night I want to continue the message on the mind. I think it's so important. Now, if you're here tonight and you need Jesus, we're going to give you an opportunity to come down here and take the pastor's hand and say, by the grace of God, I'm trusting Jesus as my Savior and my Lord. The Bible says, if you confess Him with your mouth and believe Him in your heart, you shall be saved. Maybe you need to come and move your letter here to Davis. Come and say, I want to join this church. I have been baptized of the in another Baptist church, I've been, I've, I've, been, I've been through believer's baptism, and I'd like to be considered as a member of Davis Blue Archer. Maybe you need to come and just rededicate your life and say, I want to pray of these steps that God will renew my mind in the name of Jesus and He'll help me day by day to think right and live right for Him. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. You've heard my 60th year sermon. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Now then, we, we stand together, please.
as we sing, uh, brother, uh, not many we're going to have some music. Okay. As, we, as the music comes, you, 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 you make your decision for the Lord. Brother Billy Parks will stand here to receive it as we sing. I mean, as we listen to the music. Yeah. 